Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you all missed me because I did not. <laughs> Just kidding. There's a Telegram group where you can connect with me. And in that Telegram group, ke andar, there are various channels for various discussions. So for example, if you want to understand how computer science for class 11th and 12th looks like, you can have the discussion there. We have a discussion forum in the forum hai, same Telegram group ke andar, for IP as well. So the Telegram group link is available in the bio of this video. Please join the group. You can ask your doubts there. You can talk about question papers and the upcoming exams. All right. So if you are watching this channel for the first time, my name is Akash Singh. I'm a graduate from IIT Bombay, currently working as a software engineer. So now I basically work with artificial intelligence in the NLP domain. Uh, and I have made this channel so that I can make things easier for you. The topics that we cover in today's session are going to be regarding Boolean logic. Now, Boolean logic kya hota hai? Naam hi thoda weird lagega. But this is for your class 11th. Now, in class 11th, you are studying two types of algebras. First is in mathematics. Mathematics mein aapko decimal algebra agar aap dekhoge ya fir aap x plus y is equal to 13 ya maybe aapne isko square kar diya. Is type ka algebra dekhoge. Yaha par jo x aur y ki values hoti hain, aap kuch bhi le sakte ho. Uh, which are created from the numbers or digits 0 to 9. But in Boolean logic, you also do the same kind of algebra but with only two digits that are 0 and 1. So, we will see in this session that Boolean logic is used. You can use it where you can use it for your exam and you will have to remember what you need. So, first of all, we will cover some logical statements. How do you define a logical statement? What is a logical statement? What are binary values? Then we will move on to important parts of logic gates. Now, there are many types of gates which you will have to remember but this is not a very difficult concept of Boolean logic. You can easily remember it easily because it's just like mathematics. And after that, we will also look at Boolean algebra. Ki jo specific laws hote hai, wo hai. And at the end, we'll practice a few questions so that all of your learning is complete. So let's begin by talking about Boolean logic. And ye naam aise kyun pada? Uh, there was a mathematician called George Boole, uh, jinke naam pe ye algebra kiya gaya. Now, the term logic means a statement having binary decisions. Now, up this chapter, in this session, you binary many times in binary, you will hear many times in boolean. So, let's uh, give them a few definitions. Now, binary ka jo meaning hota, it means two. Why two? It, because anything, any uh, variable can have two values in boolean logic, which is zero or one, right? off or on or maybe false and true so jis bhi variable ke sirf do hi values ho sakte hain hum log usko bolte hain uh, binary values and koi bhi decision agar aap le rahe ho in probably in your real life or in your, your examinations if you have any two options or only two options to select from which look like this then you are dealing with a logical statement each logical statement will have only two outcomes either it can be true or it can be false so why are we studying boolean logic because this logic is 0 and 1 ka, off and on ka, true and false ka, it is very much used in developing electronic circuits because kisi bhi current carrying device ke sirf do hi states ho sakte hai. either it can be off or it can be on if you have a, if you have a mobile phone it can either be switched off or it can be on. If you have any other device like PlayStation, it has only two states. Either you're playing it or you're not playing it because it's off. So this is the reason we use Boolean logic and Boolean algebra. As we discussed, binary decision kya hota hai? Jahan par aapke paas answer sirf yes or no mein aayega, true or false mein aayega, zero and one mein aayega, ya fir on ya off mein aayega. All the computers which we see, jitne bhi hum electronic devices dekhte hain aajkal world mein, Sub ke sub in binary values pe hi chalte hai. Just by using true and false, yes and no, hum bhoat sari electronic circuits create kar sakte hai. Aap jitne bhi dekho ke 16 GB RAM wale ya fir aapka i7 processor wale jo laptops hai. Sub ke sub boolean logic pe hi chal rahe hai. Now, as we discussed, there are two values, 0 and 1. Ab inke beech mein hum log algebra kaise karte hai. Now, in 
uh, in mathematics we have addition we have multiplication we have subtraction and we have division but in case of uh, boolean algebra we do not have these we just have addition and multiplication and there is also another thing known as negation negation matlab apne opposite kar diya kisi bhi value ka so these values are combined using and or and not and ka matlab hota hai multiplication or ka matlab hota hai addition not ka matlab hota hai inversion ya fir opposite so till now we have discussed what are binary values boolean algebra kya hota hai so let's see how it can actually help help you in real life so let's take an example of three bulbs bulb 1 2 and 3 now in 10th standard i hope you have studied uh, electronic circuits or maybe series connection so ye teeno bulbs hain wo series mein connected hain so what is the condition for having this series agar maine ye button start kiya or maybe if i switched it on what would happen this bulb will be switched on this will be on and this will be on or let's just invert the statement in order for this bulb to be on this bulb to be on and this bulb to be on hum ye switch chalu karna padega it cannot happen ki hum log yahan par on rakh rahe hain and yahan par off rakh rahe hain and yahan par on rakh rahe hain this won't be possible because ye teeno same wire pe connected hai since ye teeno bulb chalu hone chahiye in order for this to stay on this is known as and operation and matlab hame सारी की सारी वैल्यूज सेम होनी चाहिए लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जांपल जहां पर आपके जो बल्ब्स हैं दे आर एक्चुअली कनेक्टेड इन पैरल नाउ पैरल बल्ब्स में आप ऐसे कर सकते हो द फर्स्ट बल्ब कैन बी ऑनर ऑफ सेकंड कैन आल्सो बी ऑनर ऑफ थर्ड कैन आल्सो बी ऑनर ऑफ ऐसा नहीं है कि आपके पास नेसेसिटी है कि सारे बल्ब चालू हों या फिर सारे बल्ब ऑफ हों आप चूज कर सकते हो सारे बल्ब में कि कौन से चालू रहें एंड कौन से बंद so this type of operation is known as or operation it is okay if you find this confusing at the beginning but slowly and steadily as we cover the content of this lecture aapko sari cheeze samajh mein aane lagengi because this is kind of an easy session so in our daily life hum log bahut sari logical decisions lete hain ki hame padhna chahiye ya nahi should i sleep or no should i drink water am i too lazy these type of questions can be answered in two ways either yes true or no so these statements are known as logical statements or logical decisions so ye jo do values hain if you remember they are called binary values but they are also called truth values don't need to remember this just for your information inko hum log truth values bhi bolte hain so truth value can either be true which tells us about the truth is it true or is it false now for any logical statement there can be multiple permutations and combinations ho sakta hai mere paas do values hain x and y theek hai so x ki value ho sakti hai 1 aur 0 and y ki ho sakti hai 1 aur 0 now when we arrange these values in a tabular form hum log usko bolte hain truth table so let's try to construct a truth table based on this example let's imagine it's saturday and you're going out to have a cup of tea or coffee or maybe ice cream or maybe a pani puri if you like so you might have options there so for example in this question the statement says i will have a cup of tea or coffee so either you are going to have tea ya fir aap coffee lene wale ho ठीक है आपके पास दो ऑप्शन है बेसिकली देर टू वेरिएबल्स नाउ वॉट इज द एंड ऑफ दिस वॉट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट इट विल बी इफ यू ड्रिंक टी और कॉफी और इफ यू डोंट ड्रिंक टी और कॉफी सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स इमेजिन इफ यू गो टू चायोस राइट एंड वहां पर कॉफी अवेलेबल अवेलेबल नहीं है एंड वहां पर टी भी अवेलेबल नहीं है सो विल यू ड्रिंक एनी थिंग नो यू कॉन्ट ड्रिंक बिकॉज द ओनली ऑप्शन द ओनली थिंग्स यू वॉन्ट टू हैव इज टी एंड कॉफी सिमिलरली इफ यू कॉफी इज नॉट अवेलेबल बट टी इज अवेलेबल सो यू विल ड्रिंक 
if tea is not available and coffee is available then again you will drink and finally if tea and coffee are both available then you will drink so this kind of a table which tells you ki kaun kaun si condition pe aap coffee drink karoge ya tea drink karoge this is known as a tooth table so it looks something like this so there is a definition of tautology and fallacy now we can see yahan par ek not drink hai and three drink hai but if it was like ki sare hi options mein aap not drink kar rahe ho or maybe false so that is known as a fallacy which means all the results are false similarly iska jo opposite hoga that is tautology which means everywhere you are able to drink tea or coffee or all the results of the truth table are one but as we know aisa kuch bhi nahi hai na isme tautology hai na fallacy hai because there is one not drink and three drink so this is known as a logical operation how you can see a logical statement and derive what is the end result just by creating a truth table now one of the ways to solve this is using a truth table second way is boolean algebra wo hum log thode aage aake dekhenge so till now we have seen binary values 0 and 1 hota inke beech mein hame operations karne hote hain so it can either be addition or or it can be multiplication also known as and or it can also be negation again negation matlab hota hai not it means reverse or opposite ठीक है सो लॉजिक गेट इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट जिसके अंदर आप इनपुट्स देते हो एंड यू गेट सम काइंड ऑफ एन आउटपुट मे बी इट लुक्स लाइक दिस जहां पर आपने दो इनपुट दिए एंड यू गेट वन आउटपुट और मे बी इट कैन आल्सो लुक लाइक दिस आपने तीन इनपुट दिए एंड देर इज ओनली वन आउटपुट सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ गेट्स द फर्स्ट इज बेसिक गेट दिस पार्ट इज द इजिएस्ट नॉट और एन एंड वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर नॉट टू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड अगर आप एग्जाम में भूल भी जाओ तो आप डिराइव कर सकते हो वेरी सिंपली सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ गेट्स आर यूनिवर्सल गेट्स नाउ यूनिवर्सल गेट्स को इसलिए बोला जाता है बिकॉज ये दोनों गेट्स यूज करके नॉर एंड नैंड फुल फॉर्म क्या है इनका नॉट और नॉट एंड सो इन दोनों गेट्स को यूज करके आप कोई भी बेसिक गेट क्रिएट कर सकते हो दैट इज वाई दे आर नोन एज यूनिवर्सल गेट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ यूनिवर्सल गेट्स यू कैन क्रिएट ऑल द बेसिक गेट्स एंड द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ गेट्स आर स्पेशल गेट्स एक्सक्लूसिव और एंड एक्सक्लूसिव नॉर ये थोड़ा एंड में देखेंगे हम लोग सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू बेसिक गेट्स द फर्स्ट बेसिक गेट इज नॉट गेट नॉट गेट का सिंपल फंक्शन क्या है अगर आपने जो भी इनपुट दिया है इट इन्वर्ट्स इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैव गिवन द इनपुट ए ठीक है दिस इज द इनपुट एंड दिस इज द आउटपुट सो इफ यू इनपुट जीरो योर आउटपुट विल टर्न आउट टू बी वन बिकॉज इट इन्वर्ट्स योर इनपुट Similarly, if you input वन it inverts it to जीरो इसका जो साइन है इट लुक्स लाइक अ बार ऑन टॉप ऑफ योर वैल्यू सो इफ आई से वन बार दिस मीन्स आई हैव यूज अ नॉट गेट एंड दिस इक्वल्स जीरो एंड इफ आई से जीरो बार इट टेल्स अस इट इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ जीरो विच मीन्स वन सो जो नॉट गेट है इट लुक्स लाइक दिस आप इसको ध्यान से देखो देर इज अ ट्राइंगल एंड एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ इट देर इज अ सर्कल सो इट एसेंशियली मीन्स इट्स अ नॉट गेट सो द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ गेट इज और गेट लेट्स इमेजिन सेंग दैट आई वॉन्ट एन आइसक्रीम और आई वॉन्ट मे बी कुरकुर राइट You can have any one of them. ऐसा नहीं है कि आपने एक कंडीशन नेसेसिटी लगा दी है कि आई वॉन्ट आइसक्रीम एंड कुरकुरे सो जहाँ पर भी आपके पास ऑप्शन आप डालते हो दैट इज नोन एज ऑर गेट हाउ डज इट फंक्शन लेट से लेट्स लुक एट दिस सो इट लुक्स लाइक ए प्लस बी यहाँ पर अगर आपने वन और वन डाला मोस्ट ऑफ यू माइट थिंक ओके सो दिस इज टू बट दिस इज नॉट योर डेसिमल एल्जेब्रा दिस इज योर बाइनरी एल्जेब्रा जहाँ पर सिर्फ दो ही वैल्यूज आपके पास प्रेजेंट है इट्स आई द जीरो और इट्स आई द वन एंड द रूल्स ऑफ 
बाइनरी एल्जेब्रा आर और बोलियन एल्जेब्रा आर जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो ऑब्वियसली एंड वन प्लस जीरो इज वन सो दिस इज द रूल अगेन इफ यू सी अगर आपके पास दो इनपुट्स हैं आपके और गेट में हमेशा दो इनपुट्स होने ही चाहिए और इट कैन बी ग्रेटर देन टू राइट सो लेट्स इमेजिन वी हैव टू इनपुट्स जीरो एंड जीरो सो योर आउटपुट आल्सो बिकम्स जीरो इफ एनी ऑफ द इनपुट्स इज वन व्हिच मींस दिस जीरो एंड वन जीरो और वन इट गिव्स अस वन अगेन वन एंड वन सो अगर आपके सारे इनपुट जीरो हैं योर आउटपुट विल बी जीरो एल्स योर आउटपुट विल बी वन सो दिस वॉज और गेट नाउ यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ द एंड गेट लुक्स लाइक एंड में हम लोग एडिशन के बदले मल्टीप्लीकेशन करते हैं नाउ मल्टीप्लीकेशन रूल्स आर काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर जीरो इंटू जीरो इज जीरो एंड जीरो इंटू एनी थिंग इज एक्चुअली जीरो सो थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ जीरो एंड जहाँ पर वन इंटू वन है वी गेट वन अगेन दिस लुक्स लाइक दिस डायग्राम इट कैन हैव टू और बोर इनपुट्स अगेन आपके सिर्फ नॉट गेट को छोड़ के आपके सारे के सारे जितने भी गेट्स हैं सब में दो या दो से ज्यादा इनपुट होने चाहिए सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द बेसिक गेट्स क्वाइट बेसिक राइट नाउ यूनिवर्सल गेट्स यूनिवर्सल गेट्स आर नॉर एंड नैंड ऑल्सो नोन एज नॉट और एंड नॉट एंड सो यू माइट हैव गेस्ट टिल नाउ ये आपके नॉर्मल और एंड एंड गेट जैसे ही होते हैं बट इसमें एक डिफरेंस है कि आप एंड का जो आंसर है उसको नेगेट कर देते हो उसको इन्वर्ट कर देते हो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट लुक्स लाइक दिस सो नॉर गेट मतलब नॉट और सो और लुक्स लाइक दिस ए प्लस बी एंड नॉट लुक्स लाइक अ बार ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट सो लेट्स लुक एट द ट्रूथ टेबल हेयर अगर हमने नॉर्मल और गेट लिखा होता तो यहां पर जीरो प्लस जीरो शुड हैव बिन जीरो बट इट्स नॉट बिकॉज हम लोग यहां पर आपका एंड आंसर इन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं सो इट बिकम्स वन अगेन जीरो प्लस वन इज जीरो इन द नॉर गेट बिकॉज द एंड आंसर इज इन्वर्टेड अगेन वन प्लस जीरो इज वन यूजिंग द और गेट बट अगर हम लोग ने उसको इन्वर्ट कर दिया इट गिव्स अस जीरो अगेन वन प्लस वन इज वन बट इन्वर्टिंग इट गिवज अस जीरो राइट सो दिस वॉज नॉर गेट अगेन नैंड गेट मीन्स नॉट एंड आपका जो ए इंटू बी है ये इसको इन्वर्ट कर देता है सिमिलरली लेट्स लुक एट दिस जीरो इंटू जीरो इज डेफिनेटली जीरो बट सिंस वी आर यूजिंग अर नॉट एंड हम लोग एंड आंसर इन्वर्ट करते हैं सो इट बिकम्स वन जीरो इंटू वन इज अगेन जीरो बट इन्वर्टिंग इट गिव अस वन सेम ईयर एंड एंड में वन इंटू वन इज वन बट इन्वर्टिंग इट गिव अस जीरो सो वी हैव ऑल्सो कवर्ड द यूनिवर्सल गेट्स बेसिक नैंड एंड नॉर लेट्स लुक एट द स्पेशल गेट्स नाउ स्पेशल गेट्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज एक्सक्लूसिव गेट्स दो टाइप के होते हैं एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट एंड एक्सक्लूसिव नॉर गेट लेट्स लुक एट वॉट दे आर यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर दैम एज सच बट इट इज गुड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू कैन डिराइव दीज सो इसका जो साइन होता है इट लुक्स लाइक दिस इट इज अ प्लस साइन बट इट इज एक्सक्लूसिव इट स्पेशल सो दैट्स वाई वी कवर इट विद अ सर्कल और इसका जो डायग्राम होता है आपका यहां पर एक्स्ट्रा लाइन आ जाती है पीछे की तरफ राइट सो इफ देर आर ऑड नंबर ऑफ वन द आउटपुट इज वन एंड इफ देर आर इवन नंबर ऑफ वन द आउटपुट इज जीरो सो इन एन एक्सक्लूसिव और गेट अगर आपके पास ऑड नंबर ऑफ वन है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई हैव थ्री वन वन कॉमा वन कॉमा वन एंड दे आर लाइक दिस it will give us 1 but if i have something like this it will give me 0 similarly we have exclusive nor gate right similarly yahan par bhi aap piche ek line lagate ho and aage it is inverted so if there are odd number of ones earlier it was 
but right now since we are inverting the exclusive or gate the output is zero if the even number of ones are there then the output comes out to be one so these are also known as special gates generally the questions will be asked from your basic gates only but it is good to remember what is what are special gates what are universal gates so till now we have covered the gates what are gates they are electronic circuits jahan par aap kuch input dete ho and wahan par aapko kuch output milta so these boolean algebra laws they actually look familiar right so nothing too different they are exactly as you find in your mathematics jaise 1 into a is a 0 into a is 0 a into a is also a you have to remember this if you multiply the same number with itself or if you say a and a it will give you the same variable if you multiply by inverse of the number for example if i multiply it by inverse inverted of 1 then i will get 0 similarly for or gates you can find the same mathematical algebra laws jahan par agar aap zero ko add karoge kisi bhi variable se aapko same variable milega agar aap one ko add karoge kisi bhi variable pe again you will get one why because one plus zero is always one one plus one is also one right so end result is always one if you add one so rest of the laws are also similar to mathematics but the part where we have to focus now are on the two important laws first is the absorption law and the second is de morgan's law so let's have a look distributive law is the same as in your mathematics N nothing to different so let's just prove this part a plus b c is equal to a plus b and a plus c you just have to remember it directly but in order to solve this let's look at this a into a plus b into a plus a into c plus b into c what is this part when i multiply the same variable by itself i get the variable <coughs> over here i can take b a plus a c plus b c now let's do one thing i'll take a common again i can say b plus c plus b c now i can take a common again from this part i say 1 plus b plus c plus b c i hope you guys are good at good at mathematics since you are in 11th now it is not too difficult but we can see that b plus c is being added by added with 1 so this entire thing becomes 1 so finally we get a plus b into c right so similarly you can also prove it for the or form absorption law it looks like this a into a plus b is equal to a so why is this so let's look at the way we can solve this a dot a plus a dot b it is also equal to a plus ab then we can say a common into 1 plus b but anything added by added with 1 becomes 1 so your end result is a so this is the absorption law you have to remember this so the main part is you have to remember these laws at specific moments ki kahan par aap ye sab cheeze apply kar sakte ho during the question you might not be able to remember how does this work but your de morgan's laws will always be helpful so let's look at that what does it mean so if i have a into b right or if i have a plus b if at any point of time maine inko invert kiya i can invert them बट अगर मुझे इसको सिंप्लीफाई करना आई कैन राइट दम एस ए इन्वर्टेड एंड बी इन्वर्टेड राइट बिकॉज इन्वर्टेड साइन ऑल्सो दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो गेट्स इन्वर्टेड इन टू द पॉजिटिव साइन 
Similarly, if I invert A plus B, what do I get? A inverted and B inverted. We also invert the positive sign or the plus sign which changes into AND. So this is the end result. This is the most important law called De Morgan's law. Let's try to solve a few questions now. Construct a truth table for the following circuit of logic gates. <clears throat> So let's first try to derive the expression of this. What gate does this look like? What gate is this and what gate is this? So this looks like not AND. So I already remember the gates but you will have to revise them. This is the OR gate and this is the inversion gate. So what is A dot B and and nand so this is this part <coughs> this one is c naught right so the first gate is giving us this value nand and the second gate which is this is giving us the inversion so end me hum log kya kar rahe in dono values ko leke or gate me dal rahe so which means it looks like this your final answer should look like sorry final expression should look something like this so you have to construct a truth table now for that i can just tell you how to create a truth table first of all aap apne sare variables likhoge aapke paas teen variable hai a b and c after that you can slowly and steadily keep on writing a dot b ki value kya hone wali hai then you can say a dot b inverted ki value kya hone wali then what is the value of c inverted and also at the end you also need to write the answer and yaha par aap sari values fill karte ho by the help of zeros and ones similarly let's see uh, let's look at this part a dot b and yaha par c dot b not and these both are added into the or gate so a dot b plus c dot b bar again how to solve this a b c then the value of a b then you write c b and c b bar and then finally your answer how to fill the zeros always start with the last one first for example we have three variables here hamare paas teen variables hain so the number of rows how do you decide how many number of rows you want so you say 2 into 3 or uh, 2 raised to 3 so which means you need to have eight rows so you start by writing 0 0 0 0 1 one 1 1 so there are eight rows then you start by writing 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 and then 0 0 sorry not the 0 0 at the end and then 0 1 0 1 and so on so this is how you create a truth table and end me up uske baad a into b kya hoga 0 then this is again 0 and so on you can create the truth table now constructing the logic circuit so we have two variables here c plus bc we can see there are two gates first is the और गेट एंड यहां पर जो गेट नहीं दिख रहा है दैट इज ऑब्वियसली मल्टीप्लीकेशन और एंड गेट सो हाउ डू वी सॉल्व दिस सो बी एंड सी आर बींग पुट इन टू एन एंड गेट वेर एज सी इज नॉट पासिंग टू एनी गेट इट इज पासिंग डायरेक्टली टू द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस गेट and this final gate in the middle is known as or gate so this would be the logic circuit similarly <coughs> ab ke liye hum log kaise create kar sakte hain it is simple ab all right so let's say we have a we have b and we have c so there are 1 2 3 4 5 
four five gates in total the first is the and gate and gate mein hum log bhej rahe hain a ko and also b so this gives us a and b then we also have b and c so b and c is also being passed to an and gate so this gives us b and c we also have another expression of b plus c jahan par hum log aise likh sakte hain this is b and this is c so we have three expressions in total again ab plus bc are being passed into this right and uske baad it is being multiplied by using this gate which is known as and gate so this is how you can create a logic circuit uh, you might need to do some practice on these remembering these logic gates but it is quite simple as you have seen now Uh, there are other kind of questions that you can look at prove that so this is the de morgan's theorem which says x plus y inverted is equal to x inverted into y inverted how do you prove this using the truth table so truth table create karne ke liye aapne pehle variable likh diye you add the truth values and then you compare the both aapne first iske liye ek truth table create kiya and then you created a truth table for this and then you start comparing the end results they look the same which means your de morgan's laws are proved so this is the summary you have to remember in this chapter not gate and gate and or gate very important to remember the difference in how these are drawn what is their function and also you have to remember the de morgan's laws they are quite important also the other two laws which we discussed one is absorption law so with this we have completed the boolean algebra part i hope it was quite easy but if not if you still have any doubts you can ask in the telegram group you can also use the comment section to ask me doubts i'll be coming up with another video soon till then stay awesome bye bye